The Chinese military says that a U.S. combat ship illegally entered waters adjacent to the Second Thomas Oil, which China identified by the name of Renai Jiao, a disputed South China Sea atoll. The spokesperson for China's Ministry of National Defense, Senior Colonel Wu Qian, alleged that the U.S. instigated and emboldened the Philippine side to infringe upon China's sovereignty, which escalated maritime tensions. The Chinese side firmly opposes that. China is in dispute with several of its neighbors over its extensive claims of territorial waters in the South China Sea. In recent months, it has had several confrontations with the Philippine vessels and also protested about U.S. ship patrolling the disputed areas. China does not abide by July 2016 unclosed verdict. According to Philippines Coast Guard, on November 13, the PCG monitored 111 Chinese maritime militia swarming the areas of Julian Philip Reef and this number increased 225 based on the last monitoring of the armed forces of the Philippines. In response to this alarming development, National Security Advisor and Chair of the National Task Force on the West Philippine Sea, General Eduardo Eno, directed the PCG to carry out a maritime patrol to challenge and document the illegal presence of the CMM in Julian Philip Reef. Chinese military says it is reported that the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin recently met with its Philippines counterpart Gilbert Teodoro. He emphasized that the U.S. stands shoulder to shoulder with the Philippines in defending its sovereignty rights and jurisdiction in its exclusive economic zone. The two secretaries also denounced China's law enforcement operations in the water near Renai Jiao. In addition, the U.S. had reportedly advised the Philippines on the repairs of the illegally grounded Philippine military vessel. Spokesperson Wu stated that the China had indisputable sovereignty over the Nansa Islands, including Renai Jiao and its adjacent waters. The Philippine side illegally grounded a military vessel at Renai Jiao and attempted to enforce it by sending ships to intrude into the waters of Renai Jiao, which is second Thomas Shoal. Such moves seriously violated not only China's sovereignty but also international law and the declaration of the conduct of parties in the South China Sea. According to media reports, on 3rd December, the Philippine Coast Guard deployed two of its vessels in the South China Sea after monitoring an alarming increase in the number of Chinese maritime militia vessels at a deep within the country's exclusive economic zone. Spokesperson Wu pointed out that Renai Jiao or the South China or the South or the South Thomas Oil is a bilateral issue between China and the Philippines. The US is not a party involved, and its interference will only make things worse. He also strongly condemned the wrong acts by the relevant countries to provoke confrontation and undermine peace and stability in the South China Sea and urged them to prudent in the words and deeds. However, all other nations have alleged China is destabilizing the peace and stability in the South China Sea. The Chinese CCP Navy is now not only in dispute with its neighbors, including Philippines, who alleged bullying from bigger Chinese Navy, but recently, but recently, Australian government has alleged bullying by PLA Navy in Japan's EEZ and injured an Australian sailor. In October, China's Hong Kong flagged cargo vessel New New Polar Bear allegedly damaged Baltic connector gas pipeline. However, China also denied the Finland's allegations. India, US, Australia and Japan, along with other nations, have emphasized the need for rules-based order and freedom of navigation in South China Sea, a major trade route for the world. Hope you like this story. Do write your feedback in the comment box. Thanks for watching National Defense. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.